الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهد الله فلا مضل له ومن يذل فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا وسندنا ومولانا محمد عبده وحبيبه ورسوله قال الله تعالى في كتابه الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اتقوا الله حق وقاتي ولا تموتن إلا وأنت مسلمون صدق الله العظيم وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم إنما العمال بنيت صدق رسول الله We thank our Lord, our Creator We thank our Sustainer We praise Him and we ask Him for guidance We ask Him for help We ask Allah to make us from those that Himself is pleased with. We express our deepest respect for our beloved Muhammad والسلام, or our beloved Rasul Islam is not limited only on prayers. Islam is not limited on only on fasting. It's not limited on zakah only. Islam as a religion, as a system of life, covers every aspect of our life as individuals and as a society. From the beginning, from Adam alayhi salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows us that instinct is always pushing humans, creatures, certain, certain times towards something may, that may not be right. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains in a holy book the dialogue with a cursed creature, shaitan. When Allah asked Iblis to pray Adam alayhi salam. And the answer was, was no. This is a, a main story in order to understand ourselves. Because shaitan all the times tends to motivate us to do things they may not be right. Shortly we will be talking about position. Position in family, position in, in our jobs, in workplace, position in our mosques position in any institute that we may be involved in. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says clearly we have given to certain humans more than to the others. If we'd be all of us same then things will not be as they are now. Can you imagine all of us being doctors? Can you imagine all of us being having ability of being pilots? But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his own wisdom has created us with different kind of ability. In Prophet Salam's time, there are examples when even great sahabs 
asked Rasulullah to to give certain position to them. One of them was Abu Dharr radiallahu anhu for whom Prophet has said in Sahih Hadith there is no any truth truthful person more than Abu Dharr so this is one side of Abu Dharr but when it came Abu Dharr to ask Prophet والسلام, to become the mayor of a, of a city then Prophet والسلام, put his his blessed hand on his shoulder and said Ya Abu Dharr you are not adequate not able enough to cover this position and this position will be a higher responsibility in the day of the judgment if this position is given to people who are not fit for the purpose. No one should push each other and ask for positions. If you have that ability, those who are in charge will find you and will give the position to you. Nowadays, Alhamdulillah, we have a lot of a lot of opportunities. If we feel that we are able enough, if we feel that we are someone who can who can help the society, YouTube's, internets, different kind of options are, are open for us. But pushing each other, trying to get position, while we are not able to do whatever job we are meant to do and whatever that position is then as Prophet has said that that pushing and that desire will be a high responsibility in the day of the Qiyamah do not forget that this world is temporary we are not creating to lead there is no ayah that Allah is saying I have created humans to lead the society. I have. But Allah is saying, I have created humans. Humans and jinns to, to pray Allah. This Ya'bud means everything to listen, to obey. To listen. And to obey the hadiths of Prophet ﷺ when he says, No position will be given to those who desire it. Because it's a high responsibility. You are, you are occupying a position that you, you don't deserve and you are not adequate to it. Then creates a lot of a lot of issues because things are not moving on as they should move. Instead of someone else who are more able, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to someone else more than to me. And this is, this is how we are created. If we try to ignore this part, then we easily can fail in, in wrong, wrong doings. And that one will waste my time, will waste people who are expecting and waiting for a better service, that I'm not able to offer and someone else who is able to to do the same to, to, to have that position it's waiting there do not think that you are the only one who can who can do that job if I wouldn't if I wasn't today in here someone else would, would do this job of course same thing in family some as you have heard, there is a, a, a common expression in English when people say, I am good at that, but I'm not yet good at this. Being aware of your ability. Not, not, confusing, not confusing positions with your, your ability. You may be very good. Abu Dhar was a very trustworthy person, but he was not able to, to lead the, the society, for example. Or to, lead, to, be, to become a mayor of, of, a, of a city. 
And that's one of the main reasons why a lot of things are going wrong in societies, in cities, in countries. Because people who are not adequate, people who are not able to lead the country, are leading the countries. Doctors are becoming teachers, teachers are becoming um, drivers, and things, things are going upside down. One hadith will resolve a lot, of, a lot of issues. It's just a matter to us, it's down to us how much we, we listen, we pay attention, and we obey. Sami'na wa ata'na gufranaka rabbana wa ilayka al-masir. We listen and we obey. Or our Lord, forgive us. To you is, is the return. Of course, we will we'll go back. We, of course, we will pass away. It's a matter of how we use the time, how we use this opportunity. Even when the position is given to you, please think twice if you are still able to do it. Because you may know yourself more than I would know you. From, from looking at you from outside. So there are three, three parts of it. It's the way how I am. It's the way how I think that I am. And the third one is the, the others think that I am. So all of these must be very strong in order to, to say yes to a position, to a certain job a certain responsibility and then when you take it even when you you take and you start then please please do not jump on other on other on other um, issues you are there for certain things don't don't confuse don't confuse your th yourself and don't make things unclear may Allah make us from those who are aware that we are temporary from those who take their responsibility very seriously because this life it's it's serious our time is important the way how we act the way how we lead the way how we work and so on ameen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen الحمد لله حمدا كاملا والصلاة والسلام على رسولنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين تعظيما لنبي وتقريما لصفي فقال عز وجل من قال مخبر ضامرا إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الصلاة تنحى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعيدكم لعلكم تذكرون أقيموا الصلاة